Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's the first Tuesday of the month, and you regulars know what that means. It is time for free Unreal Engine stuff. Yes, it's a late Easter gift from Epic Games. We've got five free for the month assets. We're just going to jump straight in with them. And the first one you see in front of you, this is Gollum. I mean, Golem. Uh, what you see here, very intricate armor going on here. It's uh, basically uh, kind of a guardian monster. We've got some really uh, in-depth carving going on with the greaves around this guy. Let's just go ahead and play it so you can see some of the uh, some of the animations that are attached to this guy. So you've got these nice neat idle animations on it with the head and around the chest and that drill piece in the middle. And then I just fell off the world. Let's try that again without falling off the world. All right, let's go this. Jesus. All right, one more time. All right. There we go. All right, here we go. So we got kind of a walk cycle. Uh, we have a spaz cycle over here. Uh, we have just kind of an idle animation going on over here. A uh, bit of a, a run. I don't know if you'd actually swing your arms if you didn't have legs like that, but uh, then we have like a bounding jump going on and so on. And then a couple of kind of lying down or death animations here. Uh, in various states of uh, deconstruction going on there. Uh, so yeah, that is the first guy, the Ancient Golem. Pretty straightforward asset on the whole. Next up, we have the Water Mill. Uh, so this is the Water Mill's Nature Environment Package. Uh, what you see here is pretty much everything gone together to create this asset. Uh, modular setup for this kind of underwater cave water mill. Uh, with these animated water mill gears going on there. So uh, you see, again, forest, lush environment. We've got kind of an old church setting going on down here with the wheel, uh, with the wheel in action. Uh, got an animated waterfalls going on as well. Uh, let's head on over to the overview of this one. So let's go check that guy out. And here we go. So here are the various different pieces that go together to create this guy. So again, animated waterfall. Uh, we've got a variety of different... Uh, things that go together to create this scene. Now, the one thing I don't understand, if you're an Unreal Engine regular, please tell me how the hell this is animated. It's not a blueprint. I don't see anything controlling it. There's no animation attached to it. It is just a static mesh that is somehow spinning. So what is making this guy spin? If you can let me know that in the comments down below, I would very much appreciate it because I have no idea the uh, motive force on this. I had assumed it was a blueprint, but no, it is not. So anyways, that is the Water Mills Nature Environment asset. Next up we have, it's called the Kobo Environment. So you see here, uh, Kobo Forest Village. Uh, but in the asset store, it is called the Stylized Clay Forest uh, Village Pack. And what you're gonna notice is, uh, first off, the uh, resolution is a little bit weird on this one. So what I found is what you actually wanna do, uh, if you're using 5.3 anyways, is find the uh, post-process volume, this guy right here. Select that guy over there, uh, then head on up towards the top, and you're going to want to find the um, uh, exposure right here. And they'll just crank the exposure up a little bit, and then it looks completely fine. So this is uh, the environment. You think at first it is this stylized pack, but it's actually, you're getting the style controller for this as well. Uh, so all of this clay slash anime style thing going on. Uh, is a big part of it. So if we come on back over here, you're going to see there's an overview of how all these various different pieces work and how to control the clay services. Uh, so for example, if I come in here uh, and we go to the materials and then we go to the post-process materials, you're going to find this guy is available right here. So for example, we can control uh, the clayiness. Uh, so we've got the uh, kuahara. Uh, I should know how to say that. I've used it a couple times in the past, but you can control the amount of that effect right there from extreme levels uh, to a mild level here. You're supposed to also be able to control the outline toggle, uh, but this is literally a toggle. So you can have it one or zero. I do wish that that was more of a line thickness, and that's what it's controlling. It's the outer line on this guy right here. So again, any value other than one, it turns it off. So there you can see it right there. And then we can turn it back on, like Sayer. And here again is the Kuahara uh, filter intensity, and you can control that. Uh, and kind of have control over uh, how it will ultimately be rendered. So if you want to have a very sketchy look, uh, you can very, very sketchy uh, control it right there. Uh, you also have control over how uh, individual elements look. Uh, there's some settings you can control there as well. Uh, so that is the stylized clay forest village pack. You're getting kind of, again, the shader and then the meshes and everything else you see available here. Uh, there is an overview level here as well. Jump in here. 
and you can see all the liver like the roads and the the pottery and the plants and the various different houses which have again uh particle systems effects they are also being affected by this shader as well uh various different trees and rocks that make up the world and so on so a bit of a two for one pack there our next asset is actually an engine plugin so that's available here under plugins go in here and search for cloud i have already enabled it it is the clouds lighting pack right there if you want to go ahead and check this guy out what you're going to want to do is come on in here once you have installed it and set show engine plugin uh, show show engine content and show plugin content and yes you do need to set both because the plugin content is shown under the engine content you will find it down here plugins and then it is the cloud plugin so just go and find cloud right C L O there. So the contents are available right there. The controllers are also available here in C++. Go here to the examples and we will load up the examples map and boom, here we go. So it is a sample that shows how the various different pieces go together. But essentially this is a cloud example for, um, so we've got, uh, it controls both point light and spotlights and how they interact with the clouds. So you see up above us, here is our cloud system. So I come over here, I can change the color of our light and then you'll notice immediately in the world, we're going kind of a yellowish tinge there. So I could change the, there's the other factor of it right there. So you can change again, the coloration of things. Thanks, so let's set it back to white. So we'll go on to our next demo and change the intensity. So you can do this for doing things like lightning in the cloud and so on. So it's, it's for interacting with cloud systems and here we change the radius of our light. So this is a point light that's interacting with the clouds above. And you can also change how uh, fall off works. So we can go uh, multiplied or inverse square. So exponential, inverse square. And then you're seeing the immediate results of it there. By the way, you can hit X and then we switch over to the next category, which is spotlight. And again, you can control things like the color. So this is for creating point lights and spotlights that can interact with uh, volume cloud system. So here's the cone length of our particle system. And again, you've got different options for fall off, how fall off is controlled like so. And then we've got over here, a couple of other features such as light systems. So here's some uh, spotlights interacting with the particle systems. So you see how you can do things like colored fog effects and over here, volumetric fog effects with a strobing particle light interacting with them as well. So that is the clouds lighting system. That one is available as an engine plugin. And then finally, we have the Gothic cathedral. So here we can see, we'll zoom on in into the level. A um, lot going on here. So we got some uh, gate guards going on. Now I'm gonna say, first off, honestly, not my favorite cathedral. And then another aspect of this one is, well, we've had, <laughs> We've had a lot of these. If you've been if you've been hoarding since day one, which by the way I highly recommend, even if you are not using Unreal Engine right now, uh, you can actually use these in other game matches. I have some guides available down below. But on top of that, uh, if you do decide to switch to Unreal Engine at a future point in time, well, frankly, you're going to have a world of content. So this one is a cathedral environment. Um, it's definitely a little on the creepy side, but everything you see here. Uh, to create this modular cathedral environment. And then over here, we had some, some side rooms going on here. Let's just go out the door, see if anything new there. So we got some stained glass windows. And I think this is pretty much just a hallway. So if you're creating the next Dark Souls, that could be used to create this guy. I don't think this ever actually goes anywhere. Uh, got a courtyard here, some seating areas and so on. So it is a modular kit for creating a cathedral type environment and overview available right here. Let's go ahead and check that one out. So everything you see here, I think what I don't like about it is I don't like the stone. So that kind of just turns me off the, the whole of the art because everything uses that stone pattern throughout. So we got some uh, creepy, creepy statues here as well. Various different pieces that were used to create this. Uh, and yeah, everything you see here, we got the, the towers that were used. Uh, we have uh, the cemetery aspects and so on. Now, what I find interesting about this is if you've been hoarding all along, so here we are in my vault and I'm gonna search for cathedral. I have one, two, three, four, and then let's go and search for church. I have another one there. Oh, that's an overlap. Uh, so let's try temple. And temple, I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven more temples there as well. And this is all from hoarding these things all along. So if you want to make a, a religious game at this point in time or a dark fantasy game set in a gothic era, uh, we've got a lot of coverage in that regard. So that is this month's free stuff. Once again, a quick recap of what we had there. We had the Ancient Golem pack. Uh, then we had the uh, Water Mills Nature Environment. And then we had the uh, Stylized Clay Forest uh, Village pack. And we had the uh, Clouds Lighting System plugin. And then finally, we had the uh, Gothic Cathedral Asset pack. And that is this month's free stuff. Basically, by the time you see this, you basically, uh, you'll see it's $0. Just add it to your cart. Check out. As long as you do that before the first Tuesday of May, uh, these will be yours to keep forever. And you will have a huge asset pack library if you start doing this, if you haven't already. Just go here to free. Free for the month, and then, uh, well, as of tomorrow, these will all be updated. Basically, add them to your cart, check out, and you've got them. So what do you think of this month's free stuff? Uh, it's, it's a decent selection. You know, after we've done this for so long, you kind of start running harder and harder to find new stuff. But just keep adding to your hoard. Let me know what you think of this month's contents, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.